to create this design you need to add a cube then scale this cube along the y axis in this way then scale it along the x axis apply the scale go to the edit mode select this corner edges and control b add bevel on them add four segment bevel and give the proper bevel width then shift a mesh add a cube then scale it down then scale it along the z axis move it along the z axis and scale it along the x axis scale it along the y axis then select these two objects and shift q use the boolean operation difference then apply the boolean modifier and delete this cutter object then control a apply the scale then select this edges and control b add bevel on them then select this edges and control b add bevel on them like this then select everything mesh and symmetrize take the symmetry along the minus y axis then go to the select and select sharper edge and control b add a bevel on it add one segment bevel and give the proper bevel width then shift a mesh add a cube and scale it down in this way and take it here select this edge snap 3d cursor to it select this cube and snap to 3d cursor then s and x scale it along the x axis then select these two objects and shift q use the boolean operation difference then apply the boolean modifier and delete this cutter object select these faces and control x to dissolve them then take the symmetry then use the knife tool and create straight cut along the z axis select this edge loop and move it along the y axis and select these words and move them at last then use the knife tool and create cut select these faces and use the insert operation in this way and select these words and move them at center and then dissolve this edge then use the knife tool and create cut like this and then dissolve this edge select this face use the insert operation then select this face use the insert operation then select these faces and extrude them along the z axis then select these edge loops and control b add bevel on them in this way and then dissolve these edge loops then hit the control 2 and add the sub d modifier and select everything mesh and symmetrize take the symmetry uncheck this option and now we need to create right topology for it use the knife tool and create this kind of straight cut scale it along the z axis then add one loop cut here and s c and give it value 0 and add a few loop cuts and then take the symmetry and you will get this kind of design then select these faces and use the insert operation select this edge loop and control b add bevel on it add one segment bevel and give the proper bevel width and loop cut like this in this way then select this edge loop and control b add bevel on them add a two segment bevel like this and give the proper bevel width select these words and press j to connect them select these words and press j to connect them move these words along the z axis use the knife tool and create straight cut select this word and press m and merge at last same thing here select these words and press m merge at last and then dissolve this h then dissolve this h select these words and press j to connect them dissolve this h dissolve this h select this h loop deselect this h and move it along the z axis like this then use the knife tool and create straight cut like this and select these words and merge at here 
Then use the knife tool and create straight cut like this along the X axis. And then select the spaces and use the insert operation in this way. Select this edge loop and control B add double on them like this. And add edge looks like this. Here is the end gone. Add one look cut here and just select this words and press J to connect them. Then delete one half of the model and then use the knife tool and create cuts along the y axis in this way. Then here also you need to add one loop cut and select this words and press J to connect them. Then use the knife tool and create cuts in this way. Then select this edge loop and then select this edge loop and control V add bevel on it. Add a two segment bevel and shape factor should be one. We'll get a proper sharper edge detail add there. And then select everything mesh and symmetry. Take the symmetry. So this is how you can create this kind of design. You can see the form and you can see the topology. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.